number two. Todd Wiltshire, who we just heard from, 22 years of age from Australia, rides also for Reading in the British League Division One. And Vestavik in Sweden, he's in White Gate three. And Neil Collins, so far, no points from him. But the previous two winners have become gate number four, so let's see if Neil Collins can break his duck. There's a tape drive on heat number 11. The green light goes on. Up go the tapes on the way they drive. And it is Todd Wiltshire who's there. Wiltshire leads. Wiltshire's got it into the front. Oh, Wiltshire's taken out wide by the rider in blue, Glenn Doyle. So Wiltshire now finds himself at the back of the pack. It's Neil Collins, number 14, with the old red scarf coming out of his crush helmet. So Neil Collins leads. Glenn Doyle second, Kelly Moran third, and Kelly Moran coming underneath Glenn Doyle. Todd Wiltshire trailing now in fourth place. Take it out, it's do or die for a lot of these riders as we enter this second half of this 1991 overseas speedway final. As always, the hot shot cameras of screen sport are there to show the best possible pictures. Neil Collins, it is who leads. And again, gate number four, providing the winner if he can stay out of trouble. Second place for the rider in blue. Glenn Doyle, Kelly Moran third. And Kelly Moran now comes through to take second place, and it is the rider in yellow black who wins, Kelly Moran second, Glenn Doyle third. So a great win from England's Neil Collins, a surprise victor, but yet again, the third race winner on the shot from gate number four in succession, shall I say.